Hey folks, it's Cat Beanie and welcome back to another Divergence episode. Now, you guys will know that around the world in various places like the UK, America, I think one just happened in Mexico and some other places, uh, there's going to be some uh, some voting going on. Uh and since, you know, we sort of run a democratic SMP here, I thought it would be fun to do our own sort of voting thing. So I am going to adapt the inside of this pumpkin uh, so that the divergents can have a vote uh, on who they think is the best divergent. I think it'll be fun, you know, uh, one divergent to rule them all and all that jazz. So let's get crack lacking, shall we? So when it comes to the voting system, there is like many different ways to do it. Here in the UK, you can go to the voting thingy in person or you can do it via post. Now the problem this year was a lot of postal votes got mislaid. So thousands of people couldn't vote. And then there are obviously the people that actually go and vote in person and for whatever reason their vote isn't counted, either they've marked stuff wrong and it has to get discounted. So obviously those votes get thrown away. Uh, and out of the population, I think it was, obviously it wasn't a high turnout for this vote, but a lot of tactical voting happened in the UK this year, uh, which means, you know, the country got one party out and got another party in. Uh, but in America at the moment, they've got the choice between two parties, which I don't think is a great idea because you've got like a bad choice or a worse choice. They should have more options for one. Uh, two, you know, you've got your choice of an octogenarian or someone with questionable moral and legal standing as your choices. And while age shouldn't factor into how competent someone is to run a country, Conditions relating to age, such as like dementia or, you know, Parkinson's or, you know, your cognitive ability to rule a country um, to the best of your ability can be impacted by conditions that come with age, unfortunately. And that that is just one of those things. So some people at the moment are kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place and voting is just in the crapper. All right, all right. It is time to vote today. It is your right. It's your vote. It's your choice. It's your voice. If you don't vote, uh, you can't complain. And I like complaining, so let's get voting. All right. I think the Divergence voting booth is over here by the post office. Uh, is this it? Divergence Voting Station. This this looks like it. Am I supposed to close the door when I come in? I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, oh, Rocky Mender has his own voting booth. Bad Rabbit has her own voting booth. Holy Mist goes in there. Um, the best Divergent vote 2024. Find the chamber of the person you want to vote for. Stand on the trap door and pull the lever to be dropped down to the button. Wait, 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 wait. Find the person you want to vote for to be dropped down to the button you must press to cast your vote. Okay, so there are no mistaken votes. Don't tell people who you voted for till the 9th of July. Okay, I'm not telling anybody. All right, let's see. Um... Hmm, definitely not vote for that guy. <laughs> is it is there anything up here? There's another another voting booth up here, maybe? There's a couple of doors up here. Oh, yeah, here we go. There's that one. There's that one. And that one. I think. I think I'm going to have to go with that one. Okay. Here we go. Whoa, shit. This was not expected. Okay. 
Not good. Not good. There's no way out. <laughs> okay. Well, I voted. Remember, yours does not have to be quite this painful. Big day has come. It's time to make my voice known. Time to vote. The Best Divergent Vote 2024. Find the chamber the person you want to vote for. Stand in the trap door and pull the lever to be dropped down to the button you must press to cast your vote. So there are no mistaken votes. Don't tell people how you voted until 9th of July, 2024. I put some thought into this. I'm taking this vote very seriously. And there's a number of candidates that I thought might qualify as being the best diversion of the season. I'm going to say it's the best diversion of the season so far and not 2024 because that doesn't make much sense. It's July, <laughs> you know. But let me say who I didn't vote for. I didn't vote for Major Madden, even though as far as content creation goes, they put out a ton of content on the SMP. And not only that, Major Man actually promotes the other divergence on his streams. I didn't vote for Silly, even though I have to admit his antics actually provide fodder for others on the realm to make interesting content. Keeps things fun on the realm. Not only that, but there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that Silly has done uh, technically to help with the realm and with the Discord channel and you know, is solely responsible setting up the Divergence website. I didn't vote for Cat Beanie, even though she's done a lot of work moderating other members' streams, organizes events like the Pride Build competition that got everyone to collaborate on things. I did vote for Digging Truths. Some of the things that she's done for the realm is build the town courthouse, which was a magnificent looking building, and helped organize the trial of the season, the trial of Silly. She makes amazing map art for signs and posters. And she brought me ketchup. And all of those things are about creating lore for the realm and contributing to lore that other people have started on the realm. And she also manages to find a way to be available for group events, in spite of the fact that she lives 12 to 14 time zones away from all the other divergents. And that's why I voted for Diggin' Truths. And you know what, just a side note about voting. Uh, <laughs> even if I'd known the consequences of voting, I still would have done it. But I'm grateful to live in a country where I can vote without having to fall into lava or being harmed in some other way. And I appreciate that it's an opportunity that not everyone has. I wonder who's actually gonna win this vote or if there'll be a winner at all. But I suppose the real winners are the ones that swam in lava along the way. All right, let's go and do, oh, wow, extra security. Let's go do the boat. Find the chamber of the person you want to vote for. Stand on the trap door and pull the lever. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so I've got a couple of days. I, you know, though, though they're pretty amazing. I'm not going to vote for Dean. We all know the person that I love. Uh oh. I didn't close the doors. Okay. Let's see what I get plummeted into.
<laughs> Sucker, I didn't die. <laughs> Who's this? Nobody. Why am I not falling in? <laughs> Alright, we're just going to play it cool because there's someone else out here. While Rocky Mender did show up and put some effort in, into actually voting, um, unfortunately his vote could not be counted because he couldn't send his footage to me, he couldn't take it off of his Xbox and send the clip to me in time for me to obviously do this video uh, and therefore his vote is unfortunately null and void. I do not know the outcome of his vote uh, either way. So... Either way, it wouldn't have been counted. Sorry, bud. First of all, I want to thank all the divergents that participated, um, whether their footage was included or not. Unfortunately, obviously, Rocky Menders couldn't um, be included, but he did put the effort in uh, to participate in the vote. I would like to mention on the divergents that didn't vote, so there is currently nine divergents on the realm. Uh, five of them voted. Um, it, excluding myself so obviously uh, there was major madden there was digging truths there was a manchu there was silly and there was rocky mender so that means that 37.5 percent of the divergence um on the smp di didn't vote at all which is a similar statistic to what we had in the uk recently by the amount of voters that didn't vote over here in the latest election now Take that into account that 37.5% didn't vote for whatever reason, whether it's you can't get childcare to go and vote, uh, you're working all day, or, you know, pick one. Um, of those, one of the votes could not be counted because obviously Rocky Menders couldn't get his footage in. So that vote was null and void. I also want to nullify Diggins' vote. Um, because not only did she vote for me on footage, which, you know, love it, Minecraft wife, <laughs> love her to bits. Unfortunately, she also went and tried to vote for other people, which you can see in the video, which obviously in the voting system is a massive no-no. So we are going to have to nullify her vote as well, which only leaves like Major Madden who voted for Manchu, Silly, who voted for CP Technocraft, uh, and 
you know, a man who, who voted for Digging Truths. And unfortunately, we have no clear consecutive winner here. And I was interested to see, this wasn't like a popularity contest or anything like that. This it, it was just a genuine piece of fun. But I was genuinely interested to see how it would go down and what people's sort of explanations of why they voted and how they voted and if there was going to be any sort of contention within the divergence as to who they were voting for and if they were going to be able to actually, you know, keep their face shut about who they voted for afterwards, which I have to say they have done surprisingly well uh, in, in the task that was put to them and I am absolutely blown, blown away um, that they managed to do so and keep their keep their lips shut. But anyway, thank you to all the divergents that participated and even the ones that obviously didn't participate, you know, for whatever reason. People are busy, it is what it is. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.